We can ever see this uh, top and swing at the same time. Yeah. I guess there's different kind of types of music. It's obviously different types. But uh, playing music and listening to music is like two different, completely different things. The kind of music we play is, um, well, obviously heavy music. So um, I tend to like listen to like, quieter songs and things like that on my iPod. Well, basically, we're on tour constantly, so you're rocking out on the stage. Yeah. So I like to kind of listen to quieter songs. I go to bed in the night, my little bunk. You kind of need the both the best, both like quiet stuff. Because otherwise, you can't like differentiate between the, the two. Like, so. Do you consider yourself a balanced person? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, well, not at the moment. I'm, uh, Wobbling all over the shop in this swing. <laughs> you need you need balance, otherwise yeah. you'll, you'll fall over. Basically, you kind of need to be grounded in certain ways. Like we play some big shows, yeah. and you're like, yeah, fucking right. There's loads of people turn up to their shows, and then we play some shmo uh, smaller shows, and it's like, when other people turn up too, sometimes and it kind of kind of sinks in like reality. Like, you know, yeah, you can't do it. you can't do everything. You can't have everything your own way. Kind of do by accident, you know. It doesn't you don't plan it to happen? But every 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 day you kind of gets a bit different yeah. when you're doing certain different things. But I don't think it happened to us as much because we're from a kind of small town. So every time you you kind of go home, you see the same kind of people you've grown up with and stuff, and they kind of put you in a place and stuff. It's the kind of South Wales kind of valleys kind of ethics and stuff. You, You'll never get too big for your boots, kind of thing. Yeah. Look after yourself. Yeah. Look after your friends. Yeah. Um, it's kind of it's weird for us because we live in such a small town, and to like go out into the bigger world, we're like we don't take it for granted. Yeah. Because our, our town is really nice, but when you see like things like Japan, like we've just seen like, a few weeks ago. And grabs you by the balls and you're like, whoa. Yeah. I gotta somebody's paying for this. Somebody's like looking after me and paying for all the food and transport and everything. You gotta kinda of respect it. Yeah. Because it could it could all fall away. You're a very um, I would say honest band and also in your um, in the way that you speak and communicate. Uh, if there is anything on your mind, you're going to say it, you're going to speak it and part of those words might also be swearing and stuff like that. But do you ever get bad reactions from people yeah, on those things? Definitely. Yeah, Um Probably a few though, but I guess a lot of people do behind closed doors and stuff we don't know about. But I guess that's the same kind of mentality we've grown up on, we just kind of speak our mind. Yeah. Kind of like it is, because there's no point otherwise. Yeah. Why do you think so many people get offended just by by simple words? A lot of, a lot of things we say like tongue in cheek, people take them to heart. Like um, sometimes um, the boys would talk about like some of the songs about being about girls and yeah. um, being uh, liars and holes and that. But we don't like mean specifically everybody, but like a certain number of people. People just take it out of context. Yeah. A lot of people think it's a base and stuff. Yeah. A lot of, we're, we're just up for a laugh and stuff. And some people can't see us sometimes because they think the old music is serious and whatever. But we just, we just six guys just having a laugh at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, just don't take boy, whatever we say to heart. Like, you know, it's just a bit of fun. What I think is funny, if I look at, at certain people, is that um, sometimes you see people and on the outside they're very presentable, they will never use a swear word, uh, they'll be very nice and, and say, oh, you're my best friend, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And then afterwards they're just stabbing you in the back. And um, what I think is very funny is that with people like you guys, you might swear, you might sing about those things, but when you look at you guys, you see that you are really um, good people. 
and sometimes, <laughs> well, no, I do know about that. I think I can say that if there is, if there is one band that I trust, I, I guess it would be you guys, because um, you have this honesty and you, you just feel it. Even though Sean can be a, a dick sometimes, <laughs> but um, it is there, and it's so weird that so many people prefer the facade side yeah. instead of having the reality. I guess sometimes you gotta like put on a different face sometimes because you're constantly on tour, and some people think it's really easy and stuff, but you don't get time to yourself. You, yeah. don't, you don't get to see all your, your friends back home, your friends and your parents and stuff. Yeah. So sometimes you gotta. You don't get enough time to yourself, and you kind of might be a bit grouchy. Some people you shouldn't, shouldn't be. So sometimes you gotta kind of smile and nod. What would I have to do to piss you off? Shoot me with a gun. Wow. But I, I think afterwards you probably wouldn't be able to be pissed yeah. off. That would be difficult. Would be yeah. Depends where you shot me. Feel it. Maybe in the knee. Yeah. That would that would piss me off. We went like shooting in like a few uh, few months back. Yeah. And uh, went up the the woods, shot a few melons, oh. a few bottles and stuff. It's good to shoot again. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not <laughs> people, but I hope not on animals too. No. Oh. I used to when I was a kid. I used to shoot them with like a BB gun. Shot the sheep up the bum once. Are you horrible person? Yeah, you're a kid. You're horrible when you're a kid. <laughs> Some kids, I guess. <laughs> would, would you ever, like, looking back on that, do you feel bad about it? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I used to be horrible to insects. Oh. I used to, used to have a, a wood lice, I used to keep them in a milk bottle. Yeah. And, like, I wait, wait until they were full in the milk bottle and I just threw them on the street. They just wood lice everywhere, glass, and then a car would come. As a band, if you want to or not, you're a public figure and you influence people. Yeah. Um, what's your view on that? Uh, it's kind of hard looking from my perspective. I guess when you look at, if I was looking at some other band they like respected and stuff, it's got a whole different meaning. But you don't, you don't really think about it. Yeah. Um, sometimes when kids come up to us and they say like, we've got messages saying that you guys saved my life and stuff. Yeah. Like they've said they're like, they've been kill themselves or something about like, troubles they've had and like you said like like we've saved their life I like, just don't understand how we could have done it but um it's, it means a hell of a lot like when they, when they do say it yeah but um, it kind of hits home when people say stuff like that you, know, you gotta think about what you say and stuff it's a bit more a lot of people have the opposite effect as well just gone off us for no particular reason. And yeah. just started hating us, I guess is Yeah. Depends on the person I guess. It's not really it's probably not like absolute hate, it's probably just people being childish I guess. Therapeutic towards themselves <laughs> and least shunned to us. I know that a lot of people kinda of go through the same things also in school. They get uh, in, in trouble, people um, how do you say that they, they go at uh, go at them, uh, they have a hard time at school, so they feel kind of like the same way, uh, having insults and stuff thrown at them. What would you say to those people? Like, how do you cope in a situation like that? You just don't think about it, but is there anything else that you do? you got to think about it sometimes. You can't just shut yourself off as you go, you'll go insane. It's good to like, have like an output, like, I guess you could do some music. Like, yeah. sport's pretty good for that. Yeah. Rugby. There's a lot of angry uh, people in the town I live in. They just play rugby and football. Well, let's replace it by ending the interview and, and just swing, swinging a little bit. So the swing, is it? Yeah. So the swing off. Let's have a swing, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really good. <laughs> if this breaks. <laughs> yeah. let's see what's one break. I think I'm a lot happier than you. <laughs> I've lost a lot of my. I'm not gonna hold those to high.